The children of China are being challenged. A mystery letter has arrived from Russia, setting four school reporters on a mission to save one of the world's rarest birds. On the Tibetan plateau, little Gamma discovers that the glaciers are disappearing, that the Yangtze itself is under threat. In central China, little Ray has fallen for the endangered finless porpoise. Reporter Xu battles to save its home, threatened by the dredgings of sand to build China's mega cities. The first gorge of the Yangtze, Yanjiangua. 200 million years ago, this rose from the sea. It would have been tropical then. It continued to be pushed upwards, becoming cold, frigid. This is snow leopard country. She's pregnant, likely to give birth in a month or two. She killed two days ago. Her prey was a large domestic yak. It's unusual for her to return once her prey has been disturbed. She must be feeding her unborn cubs. Her normal prey would be blue sheep and smaller mammals. Nomads have chopped up and removed most of the meat. They've tied the remaining pieces together for collection later, to avoid scavengers stealing them. It's likely the yak became separated from the herd, perhaps ailing, stranded on this scree slope, unable to clamber back up. It's rare for her to have tackled such a large animal. She'll normally give birth every two years and raise the cubs alone. Nomads are not compensated for the loss of their livestock to snow leopards. Jado understands that. He's a local man. He runs a small NGO encouraging nomadic farmers to value their wildlife. Jado's work is key to conservation here on the plateau. Involving nomads in community-based conservation is proving effective. Snow leopards are safer here because of Jado's work. The monastery at Sochu also encourages local interest in the environment, along with their young monks, Gamma and his friends. <coughs> There are rumors that the snow leopard's gorge, the first gorge of the Yangtze, is to be dammed. Nomads have come from all around to listen to Jador. 
Tanya Chango Tony all over the plateau, snow finches nest in the pika burrows. Tiny pika are the most important animals on the plateau. Their burrows aerate the soil and by taking the grass underground, they store carbon, helping the fight against global warming. But their numbers are increasing. Local government wants to regulate their numbers by poisoning them. Chador is showing Gamma and Ransan that there is an alternative, that a natural balance can be achieved. <laughs> Their platform may encourage a buzzard to nest amongst them, one of the pika's worst enemies. Nature can be an important resource for education. Little Ray is learning quickly. She's almost able to say some words, though she can neither hear teacher Wu or herself. Mm. 
<laughs> Little Ray shares her school with over a hundred pupils with many disabilities. <laughs> Their education is mostly free, supplied by the state. It's spring. There is a ban on all fishing in the lake for three months. Reporter Xu of the Hunan Daily is out on one of his regular patrols for illegal fishing. There are illegal nets everywhere. The cage is huge, much bigger than expected covering many acres. Together with him, anxious to know more about the lake, is Little Ray's teacher, Ms. Wu. When the rains arrive, the lake will flood high over the metal fence, bringing in the fish, where they'll be trapped when the waters fall. This is fishing on an industrial scale. This the relentless pressure on the lake is killing it. Both people and wildlife suffering. Reporter Xu's Porpoise NGO have sent their volunteers to talk to Little Ray's class. Mr. Wu is chairman of the Yoyang Deaf and Dumb Society. The volunteers are taking little Ray to search for the elusive porpoise. Like Jardo's work on the plateau, community conservation is at the heart of a vision for the future. Here, harnessing the skills and energy of unsung heroes for the cause of the finless porpoise. Just fleeting glimpses of the finless porpoise in the muddy waters. But for how much longer before they too disappear forever? <laughs> Lined up like battleships, the sandboats bar the porpoises route to the Yangtze, isolating them from other porpoises hastening their fate.
Dongting used to be the ancient lake of dreams, mirrored to the north of the Yangtze by another huge lake called Clouds, two ancient lakes that absorbed the annual flooding. Now long gone, drained by humans. Dongting just an echo of a former glory when the elephants and rhino used to roam. Few, like reporter Xu, fight for her now. Vast, the coastal mudflats of Yangko, washed here by the Yangtze, year upon year, since the last ice age. What history has this time witnessed? The birth of China's civilization. Tiny specks on the mud. The four musketeers have renewed their quest to save the spoon-billed sandpiper, the rarest bird on earth. Motivated by the words of Editor Pei of the local evening paper, go back to the location, be objective, go deeper into the issue, report exactly what you see. Solar and wind power, China's future, rising from the mud the largest windmill farm in Asia. Amongst the shorebirds, Spoonie feeding, building his fat reserves for the long flight south. Alone, only 200 left in the world, heading for extinction. Who cares for him? Joa and her friends do. Living here in a converted container, guardian of the windmills, Mr. Cao. With him, Mr. Li, a local man. The growing contamination of the mud threatens the birds that stop to feed here. Two spoonies, one percent of the world population, and Nordman's greenshank, another endangered bird, depending on the tiny creatures in the mud to build their fat reserves for their long migration ahead. Nature and industry are uneasy neighbors. The relocation of so many chemical factories to Yanko has its risks. The treatment of toxic waste is monitored by the local authorities, but still contamination of the mudflats is a constant threat. Mr. Li has witnessed the changes here in Yanko. Because 
三五年之内没有新闻。去年，嗯，大概有一百多人去取检了，一半以上的都得病了。经过这个污染以后，那么老百姓得癌症的、绝症的相当多，奇奇古怪的病，有的到医院都查不出来了。但是很多人就是到医院以后，就发现了都来不及了，就等着死了。一、呃、一开始这边就是找专家了，后来就是说地方政府要开发了，就后来开发的变成化工厂了。钱能换来人类的幸福吗？不可以。嗯他换不了，就是换了老百老百姓的痛苦啊，换了他的幸福啊，他能赚到钱啊？能吵还不能生？假如人天天都在这边的话，早晚不再早死也在晚死，等这个时间的问题。我认为化工的法律应该要改正，不能拿钱来摆平事情。那据说你们村因为污染，嗯，得了癌症，好多人得了癌症，嗯，有好多病。那化工厂的污染对你们的生活有什么就是不好的地方呢？垃圾浪费了土地，也浪费了社会的这个宣传。你看这个厂，这边基本上都是全家家买的，长得吃的豆菜。现在的传统应该长得这么高了，嗯，一般情况下都是长得这么高。嗯，你们有没有到厂里边看？没有，我们准备，我们准备什么时候专门采访一下？谢谢奶奶，谢谢，谢谢叔叔。Inspired by editor Pei, Joe R is determined the four musketeers gain access to the chemical factories, to see for themselves, to be objective, thorough. Thank you. 所以，我想您可不可以把废水排向废水处理厂，废气就尽量少排放一些，让空气变得好一些。而且，人类也会呼吸空气，空气被污染了，人也会受到影响啊。如果您对我说的贝壳、竹笋、小螃蟹不相信的话，您也可以组织一次游玩活动，放松一下自己。The challenge of the safe disposal of toxic waste is not limited to the coast. Reporter Xu is following the miraculous story of royal jelly, the creation of a new queen by the colony. When the queen becomes old, the workers will feed the ordinary larvae huge amounts of royal jelly, turning them into queens able to lay eggs. 浇完了之后，就去浇，什么浇啊？对，王浇、蜂王浆、蜂王浆。嗯。第一道工序就是移虫。嗯。一等一和这要上架子。上架。嗯，上上这个架。上架。就是把这个架子放在那个。放到箱子里头去。封箱里面。嗯。嗯，上架以后呢？这这个里头头子要呢？嗯、呃，那是是是供奉土浆，是供奉。他为什么会土浆呢？他就是全部的，一种出来全部的是黄，粉黄。这是他们排出来的烟烟的照片，就是晚上。现在以前白天放，去放因为我们最近反应反应比较厉害，所以他现在就改为晚上。这个是张家寿晚上十一点钟到，就是一点钟这个之间，可能就是最难。然后这是他们的农作物受损。谁的农作物啊？就是旁边的，那就是他们那个厂旁边的，围墙后面的。我们晚上十一点四十几的时候，我一天晚上，我以前别人说的话是别人在外面听到了。那天我在房间里睡觉，我都闻到了。我的窗帘就这么这么宽的，没有拉紧，然后一屋子的那个烧的味道很浓的。那天晚上很多人在外面，包括他们在外面打牌，可能很晚都没有睡，他们都闻到了。当天晚上就打了房管局的。那个局长电话，环保局的局长就说他在他在长沙，开、啊、后面就不接电话。啊，你知道我是谁呀、啊？说是记者吧，中央中央。你是社日日报的社长对不对？你是做什么的、啊？我啊，我在家带小孩的。啊。然后就还有很多，现在我们这边周边的一些癌症患者都是。你读过书吗？大家读书了。读了好多书了。
。初中还是高中啊？大船。你也是本地人呐、啊，我就住在这旁边呢、啊，就是挨着。这边都是我们的，我们就住这个边，挨着只有我,我,我挨挨着那没有一百米，就是在一百米之内。我们现在只能靠我们自己了，我们真的也是没办法。然后最最后的办法，如果是真的再没有用的话，我们只能去。去北京了，我们全部去北京了，我们上京的，也是上京的。这个问题非常严重，我们也现在已经。好，我们现在去看看。Ms. Wu is a neighbor of the beekeepers. She'd been waiting outside for this chance to catch reporter Xu. 这那个竹木木的东西都死了的，那个种了什么竹？这个呢，竹木、梅花、芝麻、柳枝，那个树呢，那个啊，那个树啊，肉木的白到哪里，死到哪里。哦，我压一下了。这个呢，这个水都死路的，那里呢，我们就变成了那个水都死路的，看到吗？来，那个水都死路的，看到吗？水都都死路的，看，水都死路的，看嘞。好那个东西嘞，好那个东西。那个树是有影响的。有影响嘞。我这个东西好都死路的，看嘞。你告诉环保局，环保局怎么怎么回复你呢？环保局的说，就是就要他们整改呀。每次我们去去去去政府里面，他都是说去通知他们整改，但是具体整改那个什么标准我们也不清楚。然后它里面有那个海绵吸附那些东西去，去去去烧烤吧，还是怎么了？你这是个就是粉末有毒，对，对嗯、还含有毒素，嗯嗯，所以才导致你这个老百姓反反应，生理反应很异常，对对对对对，反应不行嘞。头晕，头晕，然后记忆力有点健忘的感觉，就是有点相当类似于健忘症的那种。还有喉咙咽喉不适。啊，这个菜好吧？啊，菜好吧？菜呀、啊。啊。菜四个大好的生的。啊。我上次根本就不行，搞过几年要苦一点啦，真的。我带领导的不住，为什么？我放到个那个啥人呢？今年高寿啊？你高寿啊？啊。七十五了。哦，这么老。这么年轻呐、啊，<笑>年轻呐、啊，那已经是搞得过样子有过的呀。我们毛宝，反正我们就性命相关嘛。打工的问啦，我上次出来的，我们七十成啦，我哥，我搞的我爷呀。他和领导还拉过的关系，嗯，还个过得很棒。看看我在屋里要多活多几年啦、啊。嗯。这个生了崽，正生了叫呀。到底死了崽啊？你能不能还是做点农民活来了？那些农民不要那个的，不要生命那么危险的。嗯。嗯要生命了，要生命了，那还不支持呢？还不支持？我老百姓家，我老百姓家，一桌拿毛钱，老百姓家一桌呢。我呢，就是老百姓，再再次叫为军，就再次叫去为军。他的厂里的人干部是很大。还是刀，还是刀。别跟着，别跟着，他是有准备的，啊，有预谋的。这是说，这是说口腔癌吗？口腔癌吗？口腔癌。嗯。癌症，癌症啊！老街是中街，那我那我不知道，挣了十几万，挣了十几万，挣十四万了。你是读的专科啊？对，专科。那很高的文化啦。没有。也没有说也没好好学。现在之前我做了快递行业，做了很多行业啊，业务也做过。嗯。快递行业、证券行业也做过。嗯。嗯，现在就没有生小孩了，就在家带小孩了，没上班、嗯。这是一个意思。我们要找到一个一个一个证明或者是证据，证明我们这个癌症层跟他是有关系。没有找到证明的时候，你不能说，哎呀，我们得了癌症就是这个厂子的原因。这是不科学的，不严肃的。我最大担心就是环保局组织你们去，那个、那个、那个女士啊，说是环保局要组织我们去体检。假设环保局跟医院打一合手，隐瞒你们疾病的真实的情况和原因的话，那么这个体检又没有价值。是不是我们自己先组织，悄悄地组织，集体，悄悄地集体去做一次体检？然后出具二十个人二十份报告出来。我觉得我们现在就是要证据，但是我觉得这个我们我们去找这些证据是确实是很难的。但是他说他没有排水了，他的水现在是用循环水啊。那环保局的局长都是这样讲的，他们的水是不不外排的，他意思就是说循环使用。今天晚上开始，你们就开始排班，每天晚上安排两个人排班，每人负责一个小时。发现问题就迅速就就录像。同时通知我们，我们就带月样的过去录像
It's June. The plateau should be greener. The grassland is changing. Overgrazing and a change in climate is fueling desertification. While donkeys searching for grass. Pika are one of the few animals that benefit. They thrive on short grass. The long grass naturally kept them in check. Despite the nesting buzzard, their numbers are surging. Gamma is being taken by Mrs. Nangbo to look for black-necked cranes. She's a volunteer who protects them. They're unique to the plateau. <laughs> Mrs. Nangbo's traditional tent is made of yak hair. It was woven by her great grandmother more than 80 years ago. For the moment, the snow leopard's gorge is safe. Plans for the dam have been shelved. The news is not so good out on the Yanko mudflats. People from Fujian province are harvesting the razor clams they seeded last year. But many are dead. It's the worst year yet. They'll not be returning next year. Mr. Shah has responded to Joar's letter, kindly offering to help the four musketeers in their investigation. He manages one of the largest chemical factories here. Mm. 
，还不是说癌症呢？我说的只是奇怪的病。哎、奇怪的病为什么不好？他得的不是奇怪的病，得的是癌症。他们村里人都得了那种癌症。我们走哪去啊？往前走。我真的有点恐高。对，就是就是说他这个。然后我们经过这个处理之后，达标了之后，然后还剩了那一个大的那个污水处理厂，他在处理的。怎么说？第一个是加强个人控制，第二个是增加在线，就是我们这个处理的是全部是我们人工做的，全部在线检测的。这我们在线检测就是安全，就确保这个环保处理装置的安全。您觉得九九九现在已经做到了哪种级别在绿色方面？就是说，我们就是准备从这个生产工艺。就是减少这个污染排放，在这个方面，特别是在环保方面，我和公司在这方面做了怎样的努力？嗯，感谢呃您接受我们的采访。不用不用感谢，这是应该的。说实话，如果从你们身上也学学到非常多。Nearby, a second factory has also opened its doors to the young reporters. 对此，你们要怎么做才能确保少水鱼的安全呢？不就不仅不仅是我们，另外我们因为我们的废水。呃，是排到那个污水处置厂去的，是真正那个，呃，真正到最后就是往那个海里排放的，是污水处置厂。我们听当地的村民说，就是村子里有很多人都得了那些，你说很严重的病，比如说癌症。您认为和化工厂有关系吗？这个，呃，这个说不清。这个当地的村民表示，这个后面这一的这整个这这一片全都是污水处置的装置。你们就是化工厂生产的化工品，有没有就是对植物有害？因为呢，就是附近村子里面那些庄稼都长不起来了。它对植对那种中国植物是没影响的。臭，臭啊，臭，好臭！啊，大便。The treatment of toxic waste is required by law, but it only takes the occasional spill or illegal dumping. To contaminate these precious mud flats, home to so many threatened water birds. This is the scene of the scene. The second part is from this to the scene of the water pollution. The environment, what did they do? They are a little harmful. They say a joke. They say a joke like little kids. The biggest thing is that the villagers are so far away. There are many people who are dying. But the workers in the factory who work in the factory have no deaths. I know why. They have no deaths. 而且在第一个场的时候，我们看最后一个的那个中城池的时候，那里面就是基本上都很干净。不是，在第二个场的时候看到最后，他说要送到什么那个处理处理处理处去。It's difficult to prove a link to the factory, but the spike in cancer cases must be followed up. Ms. Wu is collecting what evidence she can. First on her round of neighbors is Mr. Shui. That's the doctor. You told me you have this disease. Yes. You don't smoke, you don't drink. Yes. Do you have any bad habits? Yes. Bad habits. Yes. 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 干了这里，采抽、做干的时候，所有只有所有人检查的，我们都做，每年都做的，都没有什么问题。刚才我听你妈妈讲，她说有一家有有有三口，这几家都下面都。她说他们家里三口人就患了哎，你什么病？不是说我们这些，你赔点钱什么就可以那个了的。就是得了病，也没什么问题，但是我们要考虑到我们的下一代，他们还有几十年。Mr. Shue is to die within the next three months. Thank you. 
不要吃了。然后我们的菜，这个蔬菜啊，对，这个菜，你虽然你看了长得很好，嗯、那个楼下面是养蜜蜂的，然后到春天的话，蜜蜜蜂还不是在周围采发粉，采发粉的话有影响，对对，都会可能都会有影响。包括这个菜也好，那个橘子的，他们都是拿去卖给人家，那市场上去卖的。这么多人吃了这些被污染的东西，那我们身体可想而知。The Yangtze is nearing the coast after its 4,000-mile journey. Close by, in the city of Nantong, the musketeers are returning to visit Editor Pei. Will he approve of their new article? Better still, will he publish? We interviewed Shi Wenge's editor. He said. 前些年文革又大又黄，这些年小了好多，颜色也暗了，还有很多死了的。还有一位阿姨说的更可怕，因为化学污染，他们那地方的人癌症率要比别处高好多。牺牲环境绝对不可能带来真正的经济经济发展，因此我们江海小记者强烈呼吁。保护滩涂，拒绝污染，让我们一同为洋口港更美丽的未来努力。我觉得非常好，这里面采访的人物，有种文革的，有种紫菜的，还有那些化工厂的领导，对吧？这个都非常好。要相信自己的眼睛，要去看，要去采访，要走进我们的采访对象，跟他们聊，跟他们深入的接触。相信自己的眼睛，相信自己的观察。这样才有对这个文章、对我们周围的社会、对这个世界有更深入的了解。所以这个文章我，我我想比去年那篇文章要好，要提升了一大截子。同学对周围环境保护的我们的一个自觉的意识，这一点难能可贵。这个文章肯定帮你发表，你们放心啊。这回我们写信，我们就要把这种。受害程度要写的再深一点，因为在我们之上的一辈，比如说我们的叔叔啊、阿姨啊，还有我们的爸爸妈妈呀，就是现在时代比较那个，他们就是比较喜欢汽车，嗯，汽车呀、啊、什么比较，用他们画，用现在画的就是那些高大上的东西，而那些东西往往是最污染环境的。啊、嗯，对的，而且他们呢，像像我们爸爸妈妈、叔叔阿姨那一辈，就是没有意识到现在。这个环境有多么严重？看来很多问题还是要靠我们要去解决了。It's high summer on the plateau. This is Gamma's home. His family have moved their yaks to their summer pastures here. Gamma's mother and little sister Chulamu are gathering yak dung for fuel. 行，这一批，把这个。好的。可以。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。这个。领口袋，啊，没带盒子，这就没带盒子。哎，你今天那肉你说嘛？他垃圾怎么的？第二个口怕摘了，就弄进来，难住啊，身体太疲劳，太拖了。哎呀，穷的。我苦啊，这个，今天那打摘了，就弄进来打怕，就没用的，就不买。多今天那，我今天那怕买的呢，太拖死的，苦啊，这个呢，怕被看地干死的。打街上，这东西，从农村走过去，偏到我身边，走过去了。他就是摘了这个肉，就那样的，他那话是个道理来的。侬还要回来就得靠苏州嘛，那，刚刚我们就是那去那学生店子里边，都那边的些。那光了嘛，那我就抢点了。抢了嘛，那抢。啊，不，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行，不行
这个是真的,这个是真的 on the advice of reporter Xu, Ms. Wu and her friends set off to monitor the factory. <笑>好冷啊好冷啊去到那个靠近一点去听一下有没有什么声音啊有没有听到没有有那太近了<笑> 